with more Gabriel Knight 1. So we just finished speaking to that dude and um, where we're going to head now is to the police station because you know we love to see Mr. Mosley because you know he's um, sexy I guess. Hey Frick Man! Oh Officer Frick. Oh have I gone slow again? Not really. He's just forgotten he was going fast. Got a second, officer? Yeah. What can I do you for? Yeah, what can I do you for? Hey, Frick. Um, Detective Mosley in town? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Come on back. Thank you. Um, have you heard of the word Schottenjäger? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Can't say that I have, but it sounds dirty. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is. Do you know what Capri Saint Gall means? Can't say that I do. Can't say that I do. Can't say that I don't. Do you know anything about snakes? <laughs> what does this look like? A zoo? Yes. Never mind, don't answer that. No, I, I don't know nothing about no snakes. Cool. Alright, well, see you later, Frickman. Uh... Whee! I like that he just stops before he, you know, just after he gets through the gate. Hey, Mosley! Hey, hey, Mosley. Night, I had a feeling you'd show up. What, because I told you I would? But you asked me to? Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth. Now he's getting lumpy. Hello, his lady. badge in his front coat oh. pocket is set off particularly well by the gold polyester of his jacket. It is a good jacket. Nice polyester. Looks like something Mosley keeps around for farmer I do have to say, I always thought it was funny how she says Mosley because she goes, Mosley. Nice polyester. Nice Look like something Mosley keeps. Mosley. Not even the police department can get Mosley to operate any faster. Uh. This is not a man's encounter group. <laughs> it could be, you never know. I have this. That's nice, but I'm busy with the real investigation tonight. Ooh. He's not my type. Isn't he? Um, this is not a oh, sorry. Well, let's have a look at this screen, because it always interests me that he's got post-it notes on his computer screen. Mosley's desk has more groin on it than on his head. Oh, fine. If you don't want to do that, we'll talk Can to I him. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. You're the writer. Ah, uh, see, he's got hair. Just not much of it. What can you tell me about <clears throat> There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. Really? I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. Oh. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all faked. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I asked some experts. Uh, unless the experts it's lied to you. tactics, that's all. Yeah. But what happens if the experts lied to you to cover it up? What can you tell me about? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all fake. Yeah, but we were just asking about it in general, you know, for the book. What do you know about the voodoo writers? A lot. Can you be more specific? <laughs> do you know anything about Lots. killers? At least 20 people attend the killing. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scene. Wow, well, that's a lot of people. Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be. But we'd have to have a suspect in custody first, and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. No, but think These about it. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening. Like they know we'll never find them. Yeah, but think about that. They, you're, you're saying that there's 20 people at each of these killings. That's that's a lot of people. It should be just like, what, what do they all do? Do some of them just stand around like, yep, you're killing him. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the voodoo murders. Oh, that's a lot of murders for not having any first real information. About eight weeks ago. Oh. 
once a week. The MO was the same in each murder. Lake Ponchar Train was the seven. Ponchar Train. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints. A few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur, you say? Blood. That's a that's an odd thing to say. Well, to have. Describe the crime scenes. Now there's the corpse itself, mm -hmm. minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks of flour and blood. Ooh. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Oh, they love their wax also candles. Also blood and feathers of chickens. Ooh. Also goat's blood. Ooh. And plenty of the victim's own. Wait, well, you'd expect that if they're being murdered. What's the coroner say? What doesn't the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Ripped out. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Keep them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. Ooh. Interesting. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy edge knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Like a serpentine dagger. Hmm. Like a serpent? Like a snake. Any witnesses? No. Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard of disturbance. It's damn weird. Like they just don't want people to see, and so nobody sees nothing. Nope. Know anything about the victims? Plenty. The victims are all out of town. Mm -hmm. Still don't know why. Oh, nothing. Never mind. I don't want to oh, know nothing. anything. Never mind. Sure, no problem. <laughs> How casual that all was. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Tell me the fucking You and me grew up <laughs> together. You tell me. Ah. It's a pretty nice place. Even seeing the stuff I see. You know. No, I don't know. Corn's getting more. a bit too wild. Though. Getting hard to control. Control the quarter. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. Aww. Tell me about snakes. Do you know anything about snakes? The only thing I know about snakes is I don't like them. Ooh. I'm with you, man. Do you have any idea what Capri Sankar means? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. My mother spoke it, but I've had hard enough time just speaking English. <laughs> True enough. Oh, that was low. Have you ever heard of a Schatten Jaeger? Schatten Jaeger? No. Ha! Is that anything like a Chuck Jaeger? Uh, no. I don't think there's any relation. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Yeah. Sure, why not? I mean, it's not like we... Okay, what do you want to know? Didn't know anything at all about each other before. How'd you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. In New Orleans, it's the best place in the world to be one. Ooh. I will remember that when I want to become a police officer. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched. Oh. What? I don't see why I can't be the chief of police in New Orleans someday. Uh, CIA? I already know the mayor, and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. You might have to, you know, fix up your tie a bit before you do that. Got any hobbies? Yeah, making your life miserable. Uh -huh. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? Play golf? No, I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Gee. Yeah, I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. <laughs> you know, put your lips together and blow. For some reason, I just, I just can't, I just can't picture Mosley with, like, a trumpet in his hands going... Burr, 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 burr. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? Aw. Well, you know, Andy left Aww. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Aww. 
She's just a bitch. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? <laughs> we used to piss Hidden off for later. senior teacher. What was her name? Ms. McKelly. You'd act like you were gonna toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over her head. Hurt for later. We used to do it at your grand's too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch your soap. Damn it, boys, I want my yep. soaps. And it was a great way to pick up women in the library. What? Oh. How did that work? Those were the days. There is no way that that worked. Women do not like it when you throw books over their heads. Just tell me anything at all. You know, my doctor told me I've got a little family of ulcers start. I wish this case would end so I'd get some rent for a change. Yeah, or, or a vacation in a uh, le Chateau. <laughs> Just tell me anything at all. My back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> my back hurts. Just oh, thank you, my camel. At all. For the book, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was young. Fire. And now I'm a police fan. And nothing else, Mersley. Just tell me anything at all. I'm six two. Oh, like hell. You are not. Oh come on, I'm close enough. Just wrap me up that way. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> uh. Just tell me anything at all. You know I kind of like women with dark hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. It's a regular thing for you. Now that grace. You're on your own with that one, pal. I don't even want to know. Uh. Just tell me anything. Remember how uh, you? Yeah, back to the normal. All right. Oh, no. it's your dime. Is it? Case status. What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? It's going. Can't seem to make any progress, though. Slugging damn cases. Weird. It's weird. It's like I'm, I don't know anything about being a policeman. I'll ask you some flipping coffee later. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for the book? Uh, yeah, that might be a nice idea. Not right now, but we, we'll, we'll think about that. Nope, I think we have everything we need. Like, not right now. Okay, but you shouldn't underestimate the power of the beat. What? Okay, you're just, you're just weird. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All seven victims had those little marks around them. We got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Hmm. Can I see the other six patterns? Mm, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Yeah. Might make the book seem more mysterious. Hmm. Go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you can see the file. Hmm. Let's insult him for fun. Have you ever called the hair club for men? I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. Aww, it's beautiful. Look, it's so thick and luxurious. So how'd you ever find anything in this office? It looks like ground zero. Hey, I get my job done. I'm a detective, not Betty Cracker. <laughs> Trying for a real estate job with that coat? <clears throat> No. Are you trying out for a janitorial job with that hair? <sighs> no, it's beautiful. A janitor would not have such pretty hair. Are those have your hair. shoes? What are those? Hush puppies? <laughs> kind of a mud brown suede kind of a thing? Hey, I'm on my feet all day, alright? Is that okay with you? No. Mostly. I'm being perfectly sincere. <laughs> yeah, you and my grandmother. Right. Well, everyone's got grandmothers, apparently. You know, you have a unique way of wearing clothes that's... Well, the way they hang, kind of pleading over that stomach of yours, drooping off of your butt. Ah, oh, don't look at him we that deeply. We can't all have the body of a 12-year-old like you. Burn! 